Alrighty, watch fans. Short, sweet, and to the point because I think the deal speaks for itself. Up for you right now, because we spiked Wings Eggnog and he got a little silly, is the Android Tribeca, model number AD695. You've got three options to choose from. Before I run through them, $43, excuse me, restate, $44.53 for this watch. Well under 50 bucks. The lowest price point we've ever done on a hotness pick. The lowest price point this Tribeca has ever been done at. And as far as I can remember a watching Wing Liang since about 2006 or so, um, the lowest price point I've ever seen an Android at. Can't verify for sure but that it is the absolute lowest certainly one of the lowest but the lowest price look it's ridiculous so here's the beautiful blue that's going to be option number one and notice as we go through these you get a two-tone effect in the color the outer chapter ring is a darker color uh, or lighter color I should say than what you're seeing on the dial so you get this uh, uh, contrast between them so Beautiful shade of blue and not your standard blue, which I hope really shows up on this video. And then if I can pan smoothly over here, charcoal black is option number two. Let me get that centered up a little bit. Sorry for the shake. There is option number two. Again, notice a little bit of a two-tone effect that's been done on the timepiece. And lastly, as you'll read on the webpage, as I said, if there can be a hotness pick within the hotness pick, behind door number three, the absolutely, sorry for the shake here guys, the absolutely gorgeous, now I'm sure he's just maybe calling it red, uh, to me this is more of a maroon if you wanted to get into the brick colors, uh, I wouldn't argue with you, maybe not quite a blood but close to it absolutely stunning this is my pick out of the bunch here I like all three don't get me wrong but red is a color or any shade of red that you just don't see that much in the retail market space that much anymore I think it <clears throat> stands out more on the wrist I think it makes it a little bit more distinctive and a little bit more unique because the Tribeca was named after the Tribeca area in New York uh, and Wing was very impressed with that area. Um, upscale, unique, high tempo, that sort of thing. And I think this color really stands out. But again, I hate to, to sound like I'm beating a dead horse here. $44.53 for one of these watches. All three of them is going to be an option. One thirty-three oh two, so one hundred and thirty-three dollars will get you all three of these watches with a three-slot Android box. Your choice. There's the red. There's the black, which I think is a little bit more of a charcoal black, and the blue. Let's take a very brief, detailed look at this timepiece. But guys, this certainly is a hotness pick, no brainer. Okay, so just a quick look, but detailed, hopefully slightly humorous anyway. A look at the Android Tribeca. I went ahead and selected the blue because I think that'll show up the best on the video. And uh, <clears throat> I don't know what the quantities are on um, the individual units so you know I'm not saying this is the most limited or we've got the most of this I'm just going strictly by how I think this color is going to look so obviously Wing Liang design as I've already said in the video uh, the Tribeca design uh, originally put out uh, based off of what he was seeing in the Tribeca area of New York solid 316 ounce stainless steel construction being utilized on this timepiece, as you would expect from the Mad Sifu Wing Liang. Uh, about a 48 millimeter overall case diameter, which to me wears much larger. I will do the obligatory wrist shot at the end of the video. And remember, the watches are measured this way. 
You are getting Super Luminova utilized on the broadsword style hands as well as your hour markers that have been done on this. I do believe we've got a loom shot that will be done on the page as well. Impact resistant mineral crystal. So you've got the best of both worlds. Very, very durable as is the 316L stainless steel. Often referred to as surgical grade stainless steel. The rest of the timepiece is going to give you a great movement. Now you may have noticed if you've been collecting watches for a while, the three or the, the 6912 subdial layout, very much like a Valju 7750, Val Grange A07211, or the Salida SW500, although this is a quartz. This is from SII. It is the VD55B caliber movement that's been utilized in there. One of the reasons why I like this movement is because it does give you this subdial layout. Most quartz movements, when done in the chronograph, give you a 369. This is a 6912. Okay? So you've got that going for you. Now I'm not saying you're going to impress anybody or anything else. I like this particular look when it comes to the chronographs. That's one of the reasons why I like this movement. Uh, some of the other reasons that I like it very, very quickly is, first of all, you'll notice the center second hand here, done in that uh, hot rod red or metallic red in this particular instance, is your constantly running second hand. One of the most requested features from folks over the years has been to have this done. I know folks who run down the batteries on their chronographs to keep their chronograph running so that they have this large second hand running. You have a tenth of a second indicator here at the 12 o'clock position, but it's a dual tenth of a second. Notice the double zeros. What that's going to mean is one full rotation of the hand around this subdial is going to be two seconds, half a rotation, then obviously one second. Uh, that's a little bit unique. And then down here will be your chronograph second hands and then chronograph minutes. So what I'm going to try and do is jump in here real quick and start that so you can see it running. So as it goes around 1001, 1002, so you can see that going on. And then, of course, here's your chronograph seconds. Now, I started that by pressing the top button. I'm going to stop it by pressing that same button again. Now, what I want you to try and do is keep your eye on both the 6 and the 12 o'clock subdials. Okay? Is I'm going to press the bottom button to reset. Notice how they reset in the opposite directions. One goes clockwise, one goes counterclockwise. Yeah, I know, a little geeky, but yeah, it's kind of cool. And yes, it does actually cost more. Then I want you to notice as we move out, as you look at each one of those Super Luminova markers that have been done here, very large, the outer chapter ring <clears throat> has a cutout where they're placed into that. And of course, I've already mentioned Hopefully it's showing up very well on the, the HD video here. But you have kind of a two-tone effect, different shades, or at least the way the light is reflected inside of there. It gives you the look of the different shade. You have multiple textures done. The main dial uh, is a more geometric pattern, kind of a guilloche pattern, whereas your sub-dials are done in a racetrack or concentric circle style. Uh, if that's not showing up well on this, a new feature that I added to the sales page on this is a little photo gallery. Um, first of all, you can see the images on a uh, slider at the very top of the page, but if you scroll down uh, from where you're seeing this video, you can click on the individual images and see them in a very high detail, much larger size. Okay, So you've got that going on for you. Great look to this. As I said, 316L stainless steel dial, or, uh, uh, case. It is a fixed bezel design done in what I call a gear style. 48 millimeter case. If I turn this just a little bit so we can see the side of the watch, you'll see not terribly thick on this particular timepiece. 
Uh, I'm going to guess about 16 millimeters or so in overall case thickness. Again, 316L stainless steel being utilized there uh, as well. Now, 24 millimeter wide bracelet. I'm going to go ahead and turn this all the way around since I'm close to that. It's a wishbone style, single piece link, meaning your link is from here, including the textured center piece, back over to here. Okay, that's why I call it kind of a, a wishbone, if you want to call it a U uh, with this piece added to it. So you've got the brush length, 24 millimeters wide, a couple millimeters thick. Again, not hollow links, solid 316L stainless steel, solid end links, divers, flip lock safety class. Dual push button to release it, full tank, fold over safety class that's been done on that because it is 200 meters water resistant. Screw down crown but not function pushers that's been done on this so you do have the added gaskets and the safety measures to be able to put that all together but at the end of the day folks besides this being an Android besides it being a original Wing Liang design what we are talking about here is under forty five dollars to get this watch on you can't buy a junk watch for forty four dollars and fifty three cents I'm sorry just it doesn't happen with a real crystal, with 316L, solid 316L stainless steel, with Superluminova, with two different textures done on the dial. I mean, it, it just doesn't happen for this price point. Again, we spiked Wings Eggnog and, and we're good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and then give you the quick obligatory wrist shot. I'm going to let you go ahead and make your purchase. Remember, you will have an option to be able to pick up all three for $133.02. Because we had to make it a weird number. Two cents in the three slot box to go with it. So grab it while you can. Christmas, Hanukkah, Festivus, whatever it is just because you need a new watch. This is a no-buy zone buster and a no-brainer, all rolled in to one cool Android. Thanks for looking. All right, as I said, I would give you the obligatory wrist shot. My wrist, for those of you who are new, is about eight inches or so. so I think just a little over eight inches. There you can see the 24 millimeter wide bracelet. Do keep in mind this has not been sized but it fits on the wrist very nicely you can see how it goes very short lug so even if you have a smaller wrist size you'll be able to wear this very very comfortably I picked my favorite that maroon red gorgeous dial that's been done on this there's your wrist shot again forty four dollars fifty three cents absolutely ridiculous deal grab yours while you can thanks